We have sisters, right? No. Yes. Okay. You don't remember me? You don't remember me? Nice, you don't remember me? You see, she's crazy. Dummy? Trust me, I know crazy. I take my baby up to his house on a holy day, and he cut me off, cussed at me, barked at me, and said, we're going to put your ass in jail. No, just banging at the door, ringing the doorbell like a crazy man. Not only that, he harassed me, waking me up by my sleep and beating on the door. You can't sue someone because they woke you up. The plaintiff, Danielle Brown, is suing her sister in the amount of $510 for a cell phone. The defendant, Jody Brown, says her sister is so vindictive that this has pushed their relationship beyond repair. She claims she owes nothing. K58 on the docket, Brown versus Brown. We have sisters, right? Why don't you tell me what's going on? So, we're here today because I'm suing the defendant, yeah. this bum, this loser. Yeah, my sister, I'm suing her over this phone and this bill because she's jealous. She's vindictive, she's ungrateful, she's a hater, she irresponsible. You want me to keep going down the list or that's good? Sounds like you love her. Yeah, I love her a lot. <laughs> and um, okay. so, just here today, I just want to get back the money I'm owed. So I could just start from oh, the beginning. Yeah, why does she owe you money? So, what happened was, I got a phone for her in my name. Yes. Added her to my account. Yes. Because her credit was too poor for her to get one without a high deposit. Okay. So as a good sister, yeah. Mind you, now, this time, I'm like 18, 19 years old. Yeah. Got my, just started my own credit. Yes. As a favor to her, I put her on the line. Okay, so okay? you're two on the same phone plan. Yes. So, you know, we're on the line together. She has her phone, doing her gardening activities or whatever she does. Yeah. And just for the record, gardening is actually a term her baby father came up with her for, because she's a hoe. So he says whenever she goes out hoeing, he calls it gardening. So... Anywho, you know what she tells me? I'm not gonna pay the phone bill. I did not say that. <sighs> okay, go ahead. My sister is petty and crazy. Okay, well, we're not... She doesn't speak to anyone in the family, okay? Her and I got in a dispute. Yes. She said, I'm gonna turn your cell phone off. Maybe about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes later, she calls me back screaming. I'm gonna report the phone lost and stolen. You stole my cell phone. I'm like, I've had this phone for several years. I paid the bill. What are you talking about? Yeah. So I hung up. Ten minutes later, the police call my phone. Um, you stole the phone. We're going to arrest you <laughs> if you do not return the phone back. So I explained to the officer, I did not steal a phone. She's lying. She's being crazy as usual. She didn't take her medicine. Why didn't you so return the phone then? So me and him disconnect the phone because it's my phone and I've been paying it. So she disconnected the phone prematurely, okay? So I stopped paying it because I cannot use the phone. She called the cell phone company that we're with and reported the phone stolen. Okay. So... Why did you call the phone company and say her phone was stolen? Because I asked her to return the phone to me. I said, there's a balance left on this phone because the phone was financed. I said, I need you to return the phone to me... Yes. ...or bring it back. Nobody ever turned in a phone. And if you want to not have to be... If you want to not have to be responsible okay. for the bill, then you need to report it stolen. So I'm not responsible for the bill, but I'm responsible for the equipment itself that I have to pay for every month until okay. it's paid off. Here's what I want to know. How far behind was she in making her payments? Zero. Nope. It was a month behind because Zero. the phone bill, when you pay the bill, you're paying the month you pay in is from the month before. Did the phone so get when shut I off paid for in November? Yes. When I paid in November, Did the phone get shut off for non-payment? That bill was in October. Did the phone get the shut phone, off for non-payment? The phone is... Yes the or phone no? bill is due yes okay. on the 12th okay. of every month. Yes or no? This okay. right here is on the 19th. Okay. She hadn't even paid the Did bill the yet. Did the phone get shut off okay. for non-payment? All right. No. You, no. you... Sorry, you shut the phone off prematurely Would you like you to see this? Here's crazy. the question. I, yes, I'll see it. What I want to know is this. When you had the phone shut off, had you already stopped making payments? No. Yes. When was, what was she the date? She just said she shut the phone off because... When was the date that the phone was shut off? November 20th. Who shut the phone off? I did. Thank you. The bill is yes. due November 12th. <laughs> the bill is due on you the 12th the of every month. Okay, okay, okay. The bill was due November 12th. Okay. Now, I admit she's being a, pretty much of a stickler, but eight days later... You are calling the phone company to get her phone shut off 
just because she's eight days late in reimbursing you for the payment? She said she wasn't going to pay it. And that's what those messages show you there when I said to her, what's the okay. deal about the phone? So now let me just deal with she this. She said she yes, wasn't going to pay it. There is a concept called anticipatory breach. Okay. If she has good reason to believe that you're not going to pay anymore, okay. then before she gets deeper and deeper in debt, she has the right to break whatever agreement you guys have. That's what the law is. Now, here you say, well, I'm not going to use that word. Okay. <laughs> there is not one word except I that we couldn't put up on a screen. This makes my old show look like church. <laughs> show me where she told you that she is not going to pay the phone bill anymore. Where it says off about the T-Mobile bill. And then I also have some other okay. text messages it here. It does say that. Here's another one where it straight up says, I ain't doing none of that options. You can sit on a... Yeah, on ...with those requests. Yeah. So I have that as well here. That's true. You're used to doing that. I can't <laughs> repair the damage that you two are doing to your relationship, and I assume you've had fights in your life You know, Jerry, know. me and Jody actually used to be cool. We used to be I tight. Know. I no, know. pull up the pictures, Judge. Pull up the pictures. Oh, look. Look at me and Jody, y'all. Look at that. Okay. But see how she do me? Look, you called in eight days to say that the phone was stolen, which, first of all, is lying. It wasn't stolen. You knew very well that your sister had it. You two were in a dispute. But, 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 the reason she realized that that would actually cut the service and she wouldn't be stuck with a bill anymore was because you had said to her that you had no intention of paying the bill. That's so, not true. Well, you said it here. I'm not after paying. After she said, I'm going to turn your phone off, and after the police officer called me and said the phone was reported stolen. Uh, if the phone's reported stolen, okay. I cannot use the phone. All right, so here it is. <laughs> Obviously, you would not pay a bill after it was cut off. I get you that. Got it. The question is, what did you owe for the time period while the phone was still on? I think roughly 500 that's including the phone. And that is what you're being sued for. I'm not, not disputing the future. that. Listen, I'm disputing. She turned the phone off prematurely and said it was reported stolen. If the, if the phone was reported stolen, I am unable to use the phone. Okay. So even if I pay her the money, yes. I cannot use the phone ever again because she has put a block on the phone and report it stolen. If the, the block is it. removed from the phone, and then I can use the phone, I'll be glad to pay her. Pay the phone but off, since she... and I'll take the block off. See, okay. that's the problem. So I don't... All yeah. right, so here's how we're going to settle it then. Here's how we're going to settle it. Yes. There's a way out of this. Hold on, do you want to look at what she owes left on the phone and just how everything... Your was... suit, it doesn't matter. Your Hold suit on. is, which, she, which everyone is admitting to, you sued for here for $510, which includes what she owes on the phone, and, you know, the $126 a month payment, plus what she owes on the phone. Mm -hmm. The bill plus phone. That's the amount. You can even say within seven days, if you do not pay the plaintiff the money, then she can reset the phone back off. I'm okay. going to turn it on and she's not going to pay. Okay. Because we wouldn't have this going on now if she Your had Honor, any intention on paying. I, I have all proof. She doesn't have any proof. You see, she's crazy. Dummy. I see, oh, I said she's crazy. But you see how irresponsible you see everyone? she is? Okay. She knows she's nothing crazy. about money. Okay. Oh, just turn it back I'm on. Taking a, it costs money. I am taking a five-minute <laughs> recess. <laughs> is anything wrong with me, you guys? Don't I look good? Look at her stomach. She's Thank a gardener, y'all. Her own baby father called her a gardener. Right. That girl called me, told okay. him I was in there sloppy right. drunk, looking stupid all over her bar. Okay. You don't remember me? Okay. You don't remember Lies, me? Lies, Danielle. You don't remember me, Elle? Lies. Gardener. Lies. You leave your son to You're go so garden. You're so desperate. Gardener. You're so desperate. You're desperate. I You're feel desperate. Sorry for you. You're desperate. Aren't you lonely? You should have. No, I'm not. Aren't you lonely? I'm married. Aren't you lonely? You got kicked out by okay, your baby dad. Really? And you live at mom house. You kick me out. And you leave your baby every night. You got yes, kicked he out does. Of no one I don't want to be in mom house. Listen, I have my own lady, house. Lady. Listen. I bought two Who houses. All right, the judge is deciding. That floor one? Man, okay. the judge is speaking up. Yeah. Look. I wish I could just go like this and you'd be back like you were in the pictures getting along with no, each other. Never but I'm never going to have you hate each other. You know what? I'm willing to bet that there will be an age where you will get... You don't believe it now, I know, because you're young. The time will Not come. Not going to happen. Okay. So here's what I'm ruling. For the defendant, you may have been 
wronged in the way you were treated in this because I don't like the idea of calling authorities up and saying it was stolen when in fact you guys were in a fight and you knew your sister had the phone. You wanted it back, but it wasn't stolen. You guys were in a fight about it as evidenced by language here, which, and I didn't think anything could make me blush. But right now, considering the case that is before me, I have no choice but to find in favor of the plaintiff for $510. Thank you. I told you I was going to win. No, I said you were going to win. I always beat you at everything, Jody. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. I always stand. beat you at Hope everything. You the plaintiff stand. won. That's me. You see how dumb she is? She don't even know the difference between plaintiff and defendant. You can't beat me or nothing. You lucky show, because I would drag that weave out your hair. It ain't weave, bald headed hoe. Okay. You just mad you ain't got this hair. That was like my best friend at one point. I wish her the best of luck. I hope she gets the medicine and the help she needs. I will never, ever, ever be cool with her again. Never. I'm glad this is over. I want nothing to ever do with her ever again. Plaintiff Derek Snow is suing the defendant and former best friend for $621 for destroying his cherished chainsaw. Defendant John Barnes says he barely touched the chainsaw, so he isn't the one who broke it and doesn't owe the plaintiff anything. This is case 50 on the docket, Snow versus Barnes. Okay, we have the plaintiff, Mr. Snow and you are suing the defendant, Mr. Barnes, in the amount of $621 for a broken chainsaw. Okay, yes. tell me about it. Well, about four months ago, my former friend and former neighbor, Mr. Barnes here, asked to borrow my chainsaw. I used to own a tree service, and I had about 10 chainsaws, and I just happened to save this one special saw, my Steel 260 Farm Boss. So Mr. Barnes had some bamboo to cut in his front yard, and the bamboo is about 20 feet long, and the, his objective is to cut the bamboo in half so it will fit in the city debris truck. So I go up to his house on a Saturday with my baby, my special saw. Oh, oh, it's not it, this, it's this is not saw. just a, I, I this is not this is my child. This yes, is my, my, you don't want to put a chainsaw around the baby. Excuse me. Oh, it was a Sunday. Was oh, a oh Sunday. even better. It was it was a holy day. Thank you. Yeah. So I take my baby up to his house on a holy day, and I filled it up with fresh fuel, and I went over to his home on Sunday afternoon, and there he was with some helpers. Went over to him, I said, hey, Barnes, what's up? Here, I'm ready to give you my saw. And I started it up, and I warmed it up. Yeah, I try to crank the saw first, before you crank it up. Oh, maybe he did, because he's not, he doesn't know how to crank it, because it takes a very special, you have to know how to start these saws. Why? I used to work for a tree service. Whether he started it up or not, let's just say you started it and we finally got it started and I left you run and I said, okay, see you later, Barnes, and I took off. How did that go now? Well, I got one cut off and the thing cut off. When it cut off, I called him. I said, hey, man, the saw cut off and it won't crank back up. He said, I'm in a hurry with trying to get to my wife before I can save my relationship. She okay. divorced me and we're, we're working on yeah, it. Yeah, but he crazy. He crazy. I'm crazy too. Yeah, you is. You very crazy. How am I okay, crazy? Somebody, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what? First of all. Sorry, Jan, I'm sorry. Trust me, I know crazy. <laughs> yes, sir. I left him and then a day later he comes down and brings me back the saw and he hands it to me. He doesn't say anything. And I tried to crank the saw and it wouldn't start. It was. It wouldn't pull. And I looked at him and said, hey, Barnes, what's up? So what I had to do is I took the saw apart to get it to pull again, and I'd get to pulling, nothing. And I was like, well, now what? And I called him up. Now, this is where things started to go south, Mr. Barnes. No, what? I couldn't finish the sentence about my chainsaw, because he knew that I was having trouble with it. And when I said, it's your fault, he cut me off, cussed at me, barked at me. I didn't saw, do 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 He knew the saw needs service. I got a phone call did maintenance at on night, the about 9.30, from Mr. Barnes. Yeah. Cussing me, irate, and said, we're going to put your ass in jail for harassment. First of all. So you don't deny that you made the call to him, say, we're going to put you in jail, whatever the language was. No, I did not make no call. I did not make You're no call. You're under oath, John. I did not make no call. First of all, Your Honor, he going to come at our home while I was asleep with my two shih tzu beating on the door. Your two what? Shih tzu. Oh. My okay. two dogs. <laughs> he uh, just banging at the door, ringing the doorbell like a crazy man. Not only that, he harassed me, waking me up by my sleep and beating on the door. A court can't punish a person for knocking on the door at 9 o'clock at night. 
He didn't break the door down? Did he threaten you? No, sir, he didn't. Your Honor, he did, but it's just the purpose of fact when you tell well, somebody not to Well, you were sleeping, come. and yeah, I hate being yeah. waking from a nap, but you can't sue someone because they woke you up. I have Let's see proof. what you got. And what is this? This is some of the uh, text messages and stuff that, oh. he, that he had. This is message that he's sending to you? Yeah, fake, fake There stuff. once oh. was a girl named Janetta. Uh-oh. She procured a vindictive vendetta. <laughs> You think that mess is funny over a damn broken saw, over the top harassing and coming by our home disturb my sleep while you bang and ringing the doorbell like a crazy man. <laughs> then, dear Janetta Barnes, this is not a joke. I think I need to hire two bodyguards now. I know just the ones. My two cellmates from, you have cellmates? I have them. It's just a long story, that's another show. <laughs> I did some time for some misdemeanors, and they're all dis yeah, dismissed. Yeah, well, okay. Oof. It's, it's and now, uh, just stay far away from our home and my husband, John, before you be joined back with your cellmate. <laughs> your Honor, not only that, he uh, harassed my husband while he was on the job. My husband will tell you a little bit more about what that. What happened there? And then I'm going to make a ruling here. Go ahead. He comes to my job harassing everyone who was there? John, I was coming to deliver you the good news of the envelope that had the letterhead of Judge Jerry, and I was coming to deliver the good news and where I wanted to find you so we could be friends again because I thought this was cool. No, we can't be friends because whoa, 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 friends. Whoa. <laughs> I am truly honored by the compliment. <laughs> but handing someone a paper that he you're suing him and you're going to court is not cool. I, I just <laughs> all right. Uh, you have sued the defendant for $621 for a broken chainsaw. Correct. When you come into a court, you have to provide proof of what you're alleging. And because there is no proof based on anyone's story, even if you're both telling God's truth, neither of you know as a fact. So I am sorry for the loss of your chainsaw, but the suit is dismissed. Can I just say something, Your Honor? We're done. 